International Public Sector Accounting Standards, number 13. In this presentation, I will be explaining the different types of lists in accordance with ISAS 13, the features of both lists, that is finance and operating lists. Then I will ask well some questions from past examination questions. IFSAS 13, leases. IFSAS mean International Public Sector Accounting Standards. Number 13, we deal with lease. So what do we mean by lease? Lease is an agreement whereby the lessor conveys to the leasee in return for rent the right to use an asset for an agreed period of time. This is an agreement whereby the lesser conveys to the leasee in return for rent the right to use an asset for an agreed period of time. An agreement whereby the lesser conveys to the leasee in return for rent the right to use an asset for an agreed period of time. So parties, parties to lease, party to a lease contract. Number one, we have the lesser. The lesser. Who are the lesser? The lesser is the supplier of an asset. The supplier of an asset. The supplier of an asset is said to be the lesser. The person that supply the asset is said to be the lesser. Two, Lisi. Lisi is the user of an asset. This is the user, user of an asset. The user of an asset is said to be the leasee. Why the supplier of the lease asset is said to be the lesser. The supplier of the lease asset is said to be the lesser. Why the user of the lease asset is said to be the leasee. So types of lease. Types of lease. Types of lease. In accordance with ISA 13, ISA 13 identified the following two types of lease. Number one is finance lease. Finance lease. Number two is operating lease. Operating lease. In accordance with ISA 13, the following two types of lease were identified. Number one, the finance list. Number two, operating list. So, I want to start with finance list. Finance list is a non-cancellable list agreement. Non-cancellable. Cancellable list agreement. It's a non-cancellable list agreement that is it cannot be cancelled that is the meaning is a non-cancellable lease agreement whereby the lesser whereby the lesser transfers substantially all the risks and reward incidental to the ownership of an asset to the lessee it's a non-cancellable lease agreement whereby the lesser transfers substantially all the risk and rewards incident to the ownership of an asset to the lessee. That means the lesser transfer the risk to the lessee. So if the lesser transfer the risk to the lessee, that means the lessee is the one that will bear the risk associated with that lease. The lessee is the one that will bear all the risk incidental to the lease. So that is under finance lease. So I've told you that it is not cancellable lease agreement. 
So the lesser transfers, all the lease, all the risk and rewards of ownership to the DC. So what are the features? Features of finance lease. The following are the features or characteristics of finance lease. Number one, if you look at the definition, we say it is not cancelable lease agreement. Number one feature is it cannot be cancelled. It can not be cancelled. Finance lease cannot be cancelled. Cancellation by either party will result in a huge or significant penalty. We are either party, that is, we are one of the party, either the lesser or the DC, try to cancel the lease. So the parties who, who cancel it will, will be a huge or significant penalty. So number two, number two, the lesser will likely transfer the ownership of the asset to the DC at the end of this term. The lesser will likely transfer the ownership to the lessee at the end of the lease term or lease period. So the ownership may be transferred to the lessee. So the ownership may be transferred to the lessee at the end of the lease period. That is in the case of finance lease. Number three, the lease period forms a major part of the asset useful life. The lease period, the lease period form a major, a major part of the useful life of the asset. So major, meaning that the useful life of the asset may be 20 years and the lease period may be let's say 18 years, which is the major one. So that could be finance lease. And the lease period could be 20 years, self. Why the useful life may be 20 years. But where the lease period is 20 years, I mean, where the useful life is 20 years and the lease period is oh, it's only five years, that is not a finance lease. If the lease period is not exactly the same as the useful life of the lease asset, then it will be close to it, where they are not exactly the same. So that is for the finance lease. Number four, the present value of the minimum lease payment substantially equal to the asset fair value. The present value. The present value of the minimum lease payment. The present value of the minimum lease payments substantially, substantially equal to the asset fair value. To the fair value of the asset. Where the fair value of the asset is 20 million. And the present value is 90 million. Which, which are close. That is close. That means it is a finance list. But we are the the fair value, uh, we are the present value, we are is 20 million. And the fair value is 100 million. There are a big margin between the two. That is not a finance list. So if the fair value and the present value, if the present value of the minimum lease payment is not exactly the same 
as the fair value of the lease asset, they should be closed for the, in the case of the finance lease. But where the margin exists, that's to show that it is not a finance lease. Number five, the leasee is responsible for the insurance and maintenance of the lease asset. Leasee is responsible for the repairs or repair and repair or maintenance of the lease asset. It's even the lease that we insure it. Remember, the risk has been transferred to the lease. Where the risk has been transferred to the lease, that is to show that it is the lease that will be responsible for the maintenance of the lease asset. Number six. Risk and reward incidental to ownership is transferred to the lease. Risk and reward. Risk and reward incidental to ownership is transferred to the DC. That is financial list. Number seven. I'm considering the features of finance list. The agreement will contain a bargain purchase option. The agreement will contain a bargain purchase purchase option. These are the features or characteristics of finance list. Number one feature is it cannot be cancelled. Finance list cannot be cancelled. So I've told you that where either parties try to cancel it, they will bear huge penalty. Number two, the lesser will likely transfer the ownership to the lessee. At the end of the lease term, the lessor will likely transfer the ownership to the lessee at the end of the lease term. Number three, the lease period form a major part of the useful life of the asset. I told you that the useful life may be 19 years, and the useful life may be 20 years, and the lease period may be 19 years, or exactly 20 years. But where the useful life is 20 years and the lease period is five years, I've told you it is not a finance lease. Number four, the present value of the minimum lease payment substantially equal to the, to the fair value of the asset. The present value of the minimum lease payment is substantially equal to the fair value of the asset. Number five, is Lisi is responsible for the repairs or maintenance of the lease asset. That is number five. Number six, risk and, and reward. Incidental to ownership is transferred to the Lisi. And the number seven is the agreement will contain a bargain purchase option. Those are the features of finance lease. The second type of lease I'm going to consider is operating lease. The second one is operating lease. Operating lease. That is the second one. Operating lease. Operating lease 
is a cancelable lease agreement. Remember, I've told you that finance, finance lease is non cancelable lease agreement, but operating, operating lease is a cancelable lease agreement whereby the lessor retains substantially the risk and reward associated to the lease asset. The lessor retains all the risk associated with the lease asset. That is for operating lease. Remember, in the case of the finance lease, the risk were transferred to the lessee. But in the case of operating lease, it is the lessor that bears the risk. I've told you that it is the lessor, it is the lessee that maintains the asset, that pays for maintenance and insurance of the asset in the case of a finance lease. But in the case of operating lease, it is the lessor that maintains the asset. It is the lessor that insures the asset. That is in the case of operating lease. That is why we said it is a cancelable lease agreement whereby the lessor retains substantially the risk and reward associated to the lease assets. So on the basis of that, we want to identify the features or characteristics of operating lease. Characteristics or features of operating lease in accordance with ISAS, ISAS 13. I want to consider the characteristics or features of operating lease. Number one, it may be cancelled. The agreement may be cancelled. The agreement may be cancelled. Cancelled. It may be cancelled. Remember, I've told you that it is a cancelable lease agreement. But for operating lease, it is not cancelable. That's why the, the, this agreement for operating lease, it may be cancelled. But finance lease cannot be cancelled. Number two, the lesser retains substantially the risk and reward associated with the lease asset. The lesser retains substantially the risk and the rewards associated associated with the lease asset with the lease assets. It is the lesser that bears the risk in the case of operating lease. But finance lease, mm -hmm. it is the lesser that bears the risk. Number three, the lesser is responsible for servicing and maintenance of the lease asset. The lesser is responsible Responsible for servicing and maintenance and maintenance of the lease asset. Remember, I've told you that in the case of the finance lease, that it is the leasee that is responsible for the servicing and maintenance of the lease asset. Since the risk has been transferred in the case of finance lease, so it is this lease that will be servicing the asset, it is the lease that will be maintaining the asset. But in the case of operating lease, lessor retains the risk, lessor retains the risk. So it is the lessor that will be responsible for the servicing and maintenance of the lease asset. Number four. Number four, the lease period form a minor part of the useful life of the asset. The lease period form a minor part of the useful life of the asset. Remember, I've told you that in the case of the finance lease, that the lease period forms the major part. So, if it forms the minor, that means the lease period may be 20 years. 
I mean, the useful life may be 20 years. Useful life. And the list period may be 4 years. So where you have it like this, no, it is an operating list. But where you have the list period to be, uh, the useful life to be 20 years and the list period to be, let's say, 17 or 18 years, you know that it is a finance list. But this one now, the useful life is 20 and the list period is just 4 years. That is operating list. That 4 years is minor compared with the 20 years. Number 5. The lease agreement will not contain a bargain purchase option. The lease agreement agreement will not contain a bargain purchase option. I'll tell you that in the case of finance lease. The agreement will contain a bargain purchase option. Number six, the fair value of the lease asset is substantially greater than the fair value of the minimum lease payment. The fair value, value of the lease asset, of the lease asset. Is substantially substantially greater substantially greater than the greater than the fair value fair value of the minimum Lease payment. That is for operating lease. Number seven. The lessor retains the ownership. The lessor retains the ownership of the lease asset after the end of of the lease period. The lessor retains the ownership after the end of the lease period. I want to give the difference between the finance lease and operating lease. Differences between finance lease and operating lease. So, differences between finance and operating lease. So, finance lease and operating lease so you tabulate it finance lease and operating lease number one finance lease what to distinguish finance and operating lease some of the differences i'm going to give you will be identified from my definition and from the features of finance and operating lease i've given to you number one i've told you that finance lease cannot be cancelled that is why I say it is not cancellable lease agreement. Finance lease cannot be cancelled. Why operating lease can be cancelled? Number two. Number two. The risk and reward. The risk and rewards associated with the lease is transferred to the leasee. I've told you that it is the leasee that bears the risk incidental to the lease. Under finance lease. But for operating lease, the risk and what's associated with the lease is retained by the lessor. That means it is the lessor that bears the risk of operating lease. Number three. Number three. Leasing bears the cost of insurance and maintenance. Since the risk is, is transferred to the leasing, that means the cost of Insurance and maintenance will be borne by the lessee. Lessee bears the cost of insurance and maintenance of the lease. But for operating lease, lessor bears the cost of maintenance and insurance of the lease assets. Lessor bears the cost of maintenance and insurance of the lease assets. 
I'm starting from number one. Number one, I've told you that finance list cannot be cancelled while operating list can be cancelled. Finance list cannot be cancelled, operating list can be cancelled. Then the risk and rewards associated with the lease is transferred to the lessee. The risk and rewards associated with the lease is transferred to the lessee. That is to show that it is the lessee that bears the risk. But for operating lease, the risk and rewards associated with the lease is retained by the lesser. I repeat, the risk and rewards associated with the lease is retained by the lesser. That means it is the lesser that bears the risk. Number three, lease bears the cost of insurance and maintenance of the lease. Lease bears the cost of insurance and maintenance of the lease. Remember, the risk has been transferred to the lease. That means it is the lease that will maintain it. Then, for operating lease, lesser bears the cost of maintenance and insurance of the lease. Since the risks have not been transferred, the, the risks are retained by the lesser. That means the maintenance costs and insurance costs of the lease will be borne by the lesser. Number four. Number four. The lease period forms the major part of the useful life of the asset. The lease period forms the major part of the useful life of the asset. I've told you that where you have the useful life to be 20 years and the lease period is 19 years. That is to show that it is a finance lease. For operating lease, the lease period forms the minor part of the useful life of the asset. The lease period from the minor part of the useful life of the asset. Number five. Number five. The after that bargain purchase option exists in the case of finance lease. Bargain purchase option exists in the case of finance lease. After that, the agreement we form bargain purchase option. In the case of finance lease. But for operating lease, no bargain purchase option exists in the contract. No bargain purchase option exists in the contract. Number six. The ownership is transferred. The ownership is transferred at the end of the lease period. The ownership is transferred at the end of the lease period. But for operating lease, the ownership is not transferred at the end of the lease period. That means the lessor retain the owner of the lease asset in the case of operating lease. But for the, for the finance lease, the ownership will be transferred to the lessee. Number seven. The, number seven, the present value of the minimum lease payment is substantially equal to the asset fair value. The present value of the minimum lease payment is substantially equal to the asset fair value. But for operating lease, the present value of the minimum lease payment is, does not equal to the asset fair value. The present value of the minimum lease payment does not equal to the asset fair value. Number eight. Number eight. The lease renter is used to reduce the lease obligations. The lease renter is used to reduce the lease obligations while some portion is expensed as finance costs. The lease renter is used to reduce the lease obligation while some portion is expensed as finance cost. But for operating lease, the lease renter is expensed. The lease renter is expensed. Number nine. Number nine. The value of the asset is recognized in the book of the leasee as an asset. 
it is recognized as an asset in the book of the Lisi. It is recognized as an asset in the book of the Lisi. But no asset is recognized in the case of operating list. No asset is recognized in the book of the DC. No asset is recognized in the book of the DC. So those are the differences between finance list and operating list. I therefore want to take questions as work example from the past ICANN questions. Example, Island PSC is an international airline which operates in Nigeria. The entity plans to enter into a lease agreement with KLM Leasing Limited for the use of Boeing 747 aircraft. This agreement should involve should not involve sales and leaseback transactions. The following the contract term include the following. One, we are given the lease period of five years. Then we also have quarterly lease rental payment of 150 million. 150 million naira. The second bullet, uh, the top bullet, cost of buying. Boeing 747 aircraft is 500 million naira. Economic useful life is 20 years. Scrap value after 20 years is new. KLM Limited maintains the aeroplane required. One, recommend the type of lease agreement that island PSC should enter into given reasons for your choice illustrate in tabular form the basic differences between the type of list recommended in one above and any other type of list arrangement under isas 13. three bet on the information supplied in the question, calculate the following. A. Total lease rental over the lease period. B. Finance charge. So that is the question. Then solution. Solution. The first thing you should do is to identify the parties in the lease, in the lease contract. Now, let's go back to the question. Island PLC is an international airline which operates in Nigeria. The entity plans to enter into a lease agreement with KLM Leasing Limited for the use of Boeing. 747 aircraft. KLM is the supplier of the asset. So that is to show that KLM is the lesser. Island PLC is the user of the asset. That is to show that Island PLC is the lessee. This agreement should not involve sale and leaseback transactions. The contract terms include the following. The lease period is five years. Lease period is five years. The scrap value after the economic useful life is 20 years. So if you look at the lease period of five years, is the minor it is very short compared with the economic life of the asset another information we can as well obtain in the question you are given quarterly lease renter payments of 150 million the cost of buying boeing 747 aircraft is 500 million the scrap value after 20 years is near 
KLM Limited maintains the aeroplane. Who is KLM? KLM is the lesser. The lesser, lesser bears the cost of maintenance. If the lesser bears the maintenance, that means the risk is retained by the lesser. So now, on the basis of the information identified in the question, what type of lease should they enter into? What type of lease? You are to recommend the type of lease agreement that Island PSC should enter into. So now the answer should be they should enter into what? Operating lease. On the basis of the information supplied, we'll be able to see that it is an operating lease because the lease period of five years is very short. It's a minor of the useful life of 20 years. Then the lesser also bears the risk. So it should be what? Recommend the type of lease agreement that Island PSC should enter into given reasons for your answer. So we have said it is an operating lease. So, reason. KLM, KLM Leasing Limited, which is the lesser, maintains the asset. So that means it is the lesser that maintains the asset. Two, another reason. So we are giving reasons why it is an operating lease. Number two, the lease period of five years is less than 20 years of the useful life. The lease period, the lease period of five years is less than, or you can say it is the, is the, is the minor, it's less than the useful economic life of 20 years. The five years is far less. Now, since it is an operating lease, we used to we used to expand the lease renter. So since we used to expand the lease renter, that is to show that the company will be able to get maximum tax reduction via periodic expensing of the lease renter. The company will be able to maximize its tax reduction or will be able to get let me see get maximum tax reduction from or uh, via a periodic, via periodic expensing of the lease renter, expensing of the lease renter. These are the reasons. And since the lesser is the one that bears that retains the risk. Uh, that, that, that bears the cost of maintenance. That means we can say KLM, that is the lesser. KLM Leasing Limited. Limited, that is the lesser. Retains the risk. Since it is the KLM Leasing Limited that maintains the asset, so we can say the risk is retained by the KLM Leasing Limited. So those are the reason why it is an operating lease. Two, 
illustrate in tabular form the basic differences between the type of list recommended in one above and any other type of list arrangement under ESAS 2. So I've given you the differences between finance list and operating list. So that is what we are expected to do. Just have finance list, you tabulate it, and operating list. Okay, since we've recommended operating list, so you have operating list at the left hand side, operating list. The, list, the type of list we have recommended is operating list. Then you now have the finance list. So, and I've tabulated the differences. So, we said operating list can be cancelled. Finance list cannot be cancelled. We said the risk is retained by the lessor. The risk is transferred to the lessee. The lease period, we said it's from the minor part of the economic, period, uh, economic life of the asset. So, but this one, we said the lease period from the major part of the economic life of the asset. I've given you several differences between the finance list and operating list. Now, three, based on the information supplied, based on the information supplied in the question, calculate the following. One, the total lease renter over the lease period. Two finance charge. Let me have three, two. You want to calculate the total lease renter. Total lease renter. Now, go back to the question. You are given quarterly lease renter payment of 150 million. Quarterly mean every four months. And there are four quarters in a year. And the lease period is five years. Quarterly lease renter is 150 million. 150 million quarterly mean every three months. That is four times in a year. Four times in a year. This 150 times times four will give you 600 million. That 600 million represents the annual lease renter. Annual. This will be the lease renter for one year. And the lease period is five years. Then, what you have for a year multiplied by five. That will give us three billion naira. Three billion naira. So this is the lease renter required in A. Three B. You are to calculate the finance charge. Finance charge. You want to calculate the finance charge. Finance charge. The finance charge will be calculated by subtracting the fair value or the cash price or the cost price of the lease from the total lease renter. So the total lease renter as calculated above is 3 billion. 3 billion. And from this 3 billion, you deduct the fair value of the asset. Now let's go back to the question. Uh, how much is the fair value? The cost of buying Boeing 747 aircraft is 500 million. So the fair value is 500 million. Fair value of the lease asset is 500 million. If you subtract 500 million from 3 billion, then you'll be left with 2.5 billion. That is the finance charge. Finance charge. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. This is the part one of my lecture on IFSAS 13. So, part two will contain other aspects, not just examining this lecture.